Hello everyone, welcome back to Autumn Nizan's channel. My name is Ram Ishore. Today I would like to share an, another interesting Java interview question. I have been asked this interview question in one of my interviews. And to be very honest with you guys, I have miserably failed to solve this problem. And it also reminds us a very fundamental concept that we studied in college. So without further ado, let's get started. The problem statement is write a Java program to print the sum of all integers until it becomes single digits. If we take a closer look at the given input and the expected output, so for the first integer, the output is 45, but we have to keep adding the numbers right until it becomes single digit. So then the next step is to add 4 plus 5 again in order to get 9. 9 is the final output. In case of next integer, the sum of all integers is 49 and if we add 4 plus 9 again, it becomes 13. Then 13 is also not a single digit. So we will have to add it again like 1 plus 3 and it becomes 4. So 4 is the final output for second integer. So most of you guys already know how to get the sum of all integers, right? So let's take a simple example first. Uh, int a is equal to 1, 2, 3. In order to find out the sum of integers in this number, we first need to find out the last digit. And how will we get the last digit? by performing a modulo operation. It would be something like this. R is equal to A modulo 10. So this will give me the last digit that is 3. Now I need to create another variable sum and I will initially the sum value is 0. So I will add the last digit that we have got to the sum. So this will give me uh, initial value is 0 plus 3. This will give me the 3. And we have to repeat this process for all integers in the number. So I need to do this process for the remaining integers also. So how do I get the remaining number? So we already took 3. Now we need to find out 2. So in order to find out 2 number, our number should become 12. And how do we make it 12? We will make a is equal to a divided by 10. So this operation will give us the remaining number that is 12. Now we will repeat this process for the 12. So in case of 12, 12 modulo 10, it will become 2. So we will get the 2 integer here and we will add this 2 to the existing value of sum. What is the existing value? That was 3. So in the next iteration, we will get 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. This way, we will add 3 plus 2 plus 1 and we will get 6 as the final output. Okay, so let's try and implement this function print sum of all integers. I am creating a function, I am passing number a and I need a couple of variables. First variable is to store the sum, sum is equal to 0 and then I will need another variable for storing the remainder. It should also be 0. Now, I will create a while row which will iterate over all the integers until it until the number becomes 0. So, while a greater than 0, I have to find out the first modulo. So, a modulo 10, this will give me the remainder and to calculate the sum, I will perform addition sum is equal to sum plus r 
and at last I have to repeat this process for remaining numbers so I would say a is equal to a divided by 10 so this will give me the remaining a number and we have to repeat this process until a becomes 0 so this will return us the sum of all integers so let's paste it out sum is equal to sum and it is returning 0 so we should return the sum value let me test it out quickly ok so sum is say 6 and output for a1 is 6 so but 6 is already a single digit so nothing to worry about now if we run it for the first number a1 right so let me just comment this out and pass in the integer number a1 let us see what we get so we are getting sum as 45 that is the first output this is not the final output right so what we want is we have to repeat this process till it becomes single digit so 45 is not single digit we need to add 4 plus 5 and then it becomes single digit that is 9 now how to repeat this procedure right what do you think feel free to pause the video and try to find out uh, what would be the approach to to calculate the sum until it becomes single digit or even better you can uh, try to implement it on your own and you can always come back later and watch the remaining video so here comes the simple but very powerful concept that we studied in the college that is recursive function if, if we are in a situation wherein we need to repeat the same function again and again right then we can use a recursive function the function which calls itself so if we if i ask instead of this problem statement instead of this problem statement if i give a problem statement like uh, calculate the factorial of 5 or calculate the factorial of 25 then this is a very familiar example of recursive functions you will directly write a program using recursion and you will get the output but if i ask if i give you any other problem then it does not click in our mind that we can also use recursive function to solve this problem now what is the next step see we got the sum but now we have to repeat the the same process which we calculate the sum on the sum itself sum is our new integer number and we have to repeat this process of calculating the sum for sum itself so let's i'm just commenting this function and modifying it in a recursive manner so what is the recursive function the function which calls itself so we we don't want to return the sum directly we have to call this function itself again and again until it becomes single digit so one thing to remember in any recursive function it must terminate it should not go in infinite loop so let's try it out so i am going to use the same function right and i am passing the sum value whatever the sum value that we are getting i am passing it again to the same function now the 45 is the answer now we are passing 45 to repeat this process again now what it will do so it will take the 45 repeat this value and we will get the the next answer that is we will get the next output that is 9 4 plus 9 5 then again 9 we will send but 9 we don't have to send because it is a single digit but if we don't add any condition um, i will just show you what happens if we don't break the 
recursive function so it will go and in infinite loop okay let me maximize it and show you the error that we are getting okay it didn't somehow it didn't print any error but we must have received a stack overflow error because we are getting this error is because this loop is not getting terminated right so what we need to do is add a if condition saying that if my sum is single digit then break the loop so how would we do that we will first before even proceeding further we will first check the a if a is less than ten that means it is single digit then i have to return a okay so what we will do if the our sum is less than 10 then it will go inside the save condition and it will return the sum till that time it will keep on calculating the sum of integers in the in this given number as well as in the sum so now let us try and run it and see if we get the correct output or not for our first integer okay so the first sum we receive was 45 then the next sum is 4 plus 5 that is 9 and the output for a1 is 9 so here we are we got the correct output 9 for the first number now let's uh, try and run it for the second number i'm just going to comment to the first number and just calling the function for the second number only okay so let us see the output for number a2 okay so the first sum we received is 49 then again 4 plus 9 that is 13 and 1 plus 3 becomes 4 so the output for a2 is 4 so this is how we use a recursive functions to solve these kind of problem so remember if you want to repeat the same function again and again you can use recursive functions to solve that kind of problem so what i'm going to do next is comment out this sum and let's print the output for all integers in here and let us see if we are still getting the correct answer for all the input integers okay so our expected output was 943 and our actual output is also 943 that's great isn't it that's all for today's lesson thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. I will see you soon for another lesson.